in television, as I said, the, the Grandy went to, to um, Nissan Cup of Noodles. Yeah. The runner-up for that was the was the Nike film from India. Mm -hmm. um, film craft, I'm not sure what they gave the Grandy to. They only, actually I don't know, because they only gave one gold in the whole thing. There was a great, great radio spot for um, breast cancer awareness. I mean, honestly, it, truly one of my favorite ideas of the entire show. I had never heard it, and the minute I, I mean, boom, it got a gold, and uh, and it's it, that's a great, great radio spot. And there was one other, and I, I'm terrible because I forgot the name of the brand, but um, it's for an energy drink okay. that also got a gold in radio. Okay. And those were the only two golds. It got a silver. Oh. Yeah, it didn't get a gold. The Interesting. Radio one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and actually, uh, you know, I mean, I think we, you know, no secrets here. I actually did feel like it was a, probably worthy of a gold. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the jury didn't feel that way. Um, not sure, you know, because I think it was. Um, it wasn't a radio spot per se. Yeah, but there's a category called um, best use of radio, mm -hmm. which is a very, dip, you know, yeah, sort of that. So I thought yeah. that was a very innovative use. That was very nice, the Pampers thing. Um, the other thing, and I believe it's from the Philippines also, that won big, actually it won the Grand Lotus, uh, the Grandi for the Lotus Root. That was one of my favorite things in the show. I mean, wow. it was so, uh, first, I just, the, the insight on that, um, I didn't realize that in the Philippines a lot of people leave the country and then, and then send money to their family. Yes. I thought that, you know, so that's a great insight. Um, and then I think for a bank, I mean, a bank is a tough client. That is a tough, tough client. Um, you know, for a bank to, to, to grab hold of that insight and become so much more human by, you know, saying, hey, it's just like, you know, it's so, it's, you know, I don't remember the exact line, but, you know, it's just like giving the money yourself. And then the, the thing I loved about those, those, those films and that idea, it's very hard in our business to, to really be real. Like you watch something and there is no question in your mind that that was real. I know those those people that you can't have actors act that way, you know, okay. you know, and those and, and it was just beautiful stuff. So that was a big winner, um, and that was a, a unanimous winner for Lotus Roots uh, yes. as the Grandy. Oh. The other big winner, I think, across, um, I know it won at least. Well, um, I mean. Um, Dentsu just had a great year. I mean, they, they dominated. Uh, Japan dominated, but, but Dentsu in particular had a very good year. And the Senna, you've seen the world's fastest lap. Yes. yes. Yeah, uh, that, was, that was probably my favorite piece in the show. Um, and I know that won a grand year or two, I think. But it was gold in a lot of areas, I think. Uh, that's a great, great idea. And, and a very integrated idea as well. Um, you know, that kind of spread across all medias. And, uh, really nice use of technology. Anytime you, you stand in front of 50 of the most you know, celebrated creatives in the entire region, some of them in the whole world, uh, you know, it's hard to get up as one person and say, here's the vision for, you know, because yeah. all these people have, have done games. it and they're smart and they're, and they're the best at what they do. So really I just tried to, tried, tried to set a little bit of a, of a goal of what to look for. Um, uh, and, and for me, uh, I actually, there's an old, uh, there's a designer from the 70s and, and 80s called Helmut Krohn, do you know? Okay. So he uh, has an amazing quote about um, what new is. And basically he says, when you see something new, uh, sometimes it can be very disarming and sometimes you don't know how to judge it. Yes. You don't know if it's good or bad because it's new and you've never seen it before. And sometimes it takes someone else to tell you, no, that's really great, you know? Yes. Uh, you know, and I said, those are the kinds of, uh, my big imperative, I think, for this show was, was our, the biggest problem our industry has right now is we're not, we're no longer getting the best and the brightest creative young people coming into our industry. That's the biggest problem we have. Okay. We've got a lot of people that are, you know, that are veterans and they're great and they can keep it going for a while. But the bottom line is the very best people coming out of school right now are going to Google and they're going to Facebook and they're going to Apple and they're going to all these other you know, technology plays and they're going, um, they're not necessarily coming into advertising and I want our industry, because we sort of sit at the center of you yeah. know, all of these amazing industries, Hollywood and music and tech, um, but we need the kind of work that is, as Helmut Krohn would say, is truly new. And I think when kids see that kind of work, they say, I mean, I remember seeing in the 90s, seeing the Nike, you know, when I was coming out of college, seeing the Nike work. That's what got me into advertising. I just okay. remember seeing all these amazing films. 
and saying, I want to do what those people do, you know, um, and did that. And so we need to make sure, so my, my sort of, um, uh, I guess, vision for this was let's look for those pieces. Let's look for those pieces that are truly new, even if they're a little bit scary, mm -hmm. um, that are truly new, that will kind of push the industry forward and grab the attention of all these amazing young creative people who are starting to go into a lot of other fields and not ours. So that's a huge deal.